implications of Leo Santa Cruz Miguel Flores? Who does Leo, if Leo takes care of business, what's next for him? Leo's a tremendous fighter. Uh, he wants to fight Tank Davis, you know, along with everybody else. So uh, he's a, a terrific fighter. Uh, he's actually one of my favorite fighters. I've been knowing him for a very long time. Terrific young man. Um, excellent, excellent fighter. Um, Sometimes he gets some flack from you guys, um, but all he does is go in there and do, do his job. But uh, fighting a guy like Tank Davis, that's a big, big step up. Big Speaking step up. Speaking of Tank Davis, um, when will we see him in the ring again? Is it soon, December? Yes. You, you'll see him before the end of the year. I, I don't have. I don't have a heart. No, no. We'll be farming. We all know I made that offer. We're not. That's old news. Um, uh, don't have the date locked in, but he will be fighting before the end of the year. Leonard, Leonard does. Uh, speaking on Leo, he's been on a lot of foot on the cards. He's been in the business for a very long time. Um, just want your thoughts because you did say he has brought up Tank's name. What were your thoughts on the back and forth between him and Gary, given that Gary Russell was also a name that uh, comes Who, up between Leo and well, the Gary Russell video that he released um, with Leo's father? I'm not sure. Uh, I can't. I, I don't speak on other people's business. That that ain't got nothing to do with me. If it's something to do with my fighter, then I can speak on. Um, but he, he's he's. He, he's a grown man, he can speak up for himself, you can ask him that question. Um, with those two, they have a long history uh, from the back of the amateurs. And, you know, Gary, I guess, wants a big fight. So, given that Tank is your fighter, did you see the interview that Gary um, last week did and he spoke on Floyd and spoke on Tank? Well, my only comment on that is, is that, you know, um, when it comes to the, when it comes to fighters, you know, he, again, he's looking for a big fight. Tank Davis is the biggest name that's out there. 26, 30, 35. Leonard, Tank. realistically, how soon can we see Lomachenko and Tank, realistically? I don't know. I, I think that they, they are definitely headed a collision course. You see it, I mean, he's winning. Tank's definitely going to continue to do it, and it's a, it's a big fight. But it's a lot of other big fights out there for Tank Davis. Tank Davis is the star in all of those divisions. Everyone wants to fight him. You know, um, so again, when you have options, you just line them up. They all get in line. You're gonna knock them down one by one. Leonard, uh, you know, it's like you said, they catch flack a lot of times probably undeservedly, Leo and Tank. But what do you say to fans who are just disappointed? Because Leo moves up to 26, no unification. Tank moves up to 35, no unification. Man, I, to be honest, I really don't pay that bullshit attention to what really the, the negativity because we know what we're doing when it comes to building stars. You know what I'm saying? Tank Davis, again, I'll say it again, he's going to be the biggest star in the entire sport. And, and we, we're headed in the right direction and it's evident by the impact that he's having with being uh, able to bring new fans to the sport. You know, there's no other fighter that's kind of doing, and we're gonna do a whole lot of things a little different. We're gonna continue to do things outside the box because that's what we're doing. He has, he has the uh, ability to, uh, to uh, have this younger generation talking about him like they did Mike Tyson when he was young. You know, and that's something different. Tank brings excitement to the sport. So it, it don't really matter who he fights. They're gonna come, they're, they're gonna buy his fights, because that's what they want, that's what the fans want to see. So is and it, he's building a base. Uh, everywhere he goes, he's selling out arenas, and that's what we're gonna continue to do. So is that uh, uh, the boxing bubble mind state then? They don't, you think we're, people just in that hardcore box, well, they don't understand that names matter more than unifications and stuff Yeah, and, like and, 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 and see, I've been doing this for a very long time and, and, and see what we, as a, as a as the boxing community, um, we have to kind of think outside the box. You know, if you continue to, just to, to think and do the same things, then how are you gonna grow the sport and, and be become a bigger star? How do you think Floyd did it? Right, Leonard. As a successful promoter that you are in this business, would you promote a fight between two YouTubers who have like over a million followers? Would I don't want to. I don't want to speak on that. I don't have nothing negative to say about them and what they're doing. Nothing at all. Uh, uh, let them do their thing. Let them do it. I have nothing bad to say about it. Let nothing me, bad to say about it. Boxer made a list of mm -hmm. the top 25 fighters in boxing history. And do you see who's number one? Of course. 
What do you make? I mean, you've been with Floyd from day one. Well, I'm, I mean, you, you know, Floyd's in my in my eyes. Everybody know what I think. He's TBE, and again, that's my opinion. And nobody's gonna ever change my opinion. I, you know, I, I was there from day one to see what he put into the sport and the impact that he's had on this sport. Why do you think these guys are making as much money they make now? It's one person who changed the game. He changed the entire game. And so, again, you know, I get a little offended sometimes when, you know, he don't get the credit that he deserves, but that's just me, you know, because I know what he's put in. I know the blood, sweat, and tears that, and everything that he had to, this guy's fighting guys, and then every night in these championship fights, these guys are outweighing him by 20 pounds. And there have only been a few instances with a, a couple of fighters that were, were close in his weight. But everybody else out playing, you know, 20 pounds plus. And he's going out there dominating these guys. But Leonard, you said it. that nobody can change your mind on that. What about your own Javante Davis, though? Floyd says that records are meant to be broken. And, and guess what? We want Tank to break every record there is out, that's out there. We're going to help him do that. We're going to help him do that. Uh, speaking of Tank, in his gym, uh, you guys just had a recent signing in Malik Hawkins. He just made his uh, Mayweather promotion debut like uh, last week. Yeah, last Friday. Um, talk to us about sensational first round knockout. Talk to us about that signing and getting more talent out of that uh, up the boxing gym. Oh, just, just wait. Within the next month, we're going to have about three or four more signings. Uh, we're, we're, we're getting, uh, we're in a whole, a new group of young fighters. You know, these, these youngsters are the future, and there's a lot of terrific talent all around the sport, you know, all around the world, and um, we're, we're getting every every bit of it, every bit of it. Lorenzo Simpson, one of those fighters? He's a, t he's a, he's a top tier young fighter, um, very, very good young fighter.